So I've actually thought about air, air, aircraft designs for a long time, um, and I, I think there's an interesting opportunity to make like an electric flying vehicle. Tesla has made headlines with its very first flying car, an incredible technological achievement that used to only exist in our dreams. With the ability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 1.1 seconds, a range of up to 620 miles, and actual flying abilities, this vehicle has shocked the entire tech world. What really makes it special is how it's part of an automatic flying network that manages air traffic safely within a 50-kilometer range. On top of that, it comes with a two-seat cabin and 150 liters of storage space, making it surprisingly useful for something as futuristic as a flying car. Sounds unbelievable, right? But honestly, there are still many unanswered questions. Is it completely electric? How would you even charge something like this? And what about safety? Today, we're going deep into the most groundbreaking features of Tesla's flying car from its top-level performance and smart design to the technology inside and Tesla's big plan for the future of travel. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Honestly, when Tesla launches this vehicle, we'll be among the first to bring one home. What's most exciting is how this vehicle fits so well into both busy cities and faraway rural places. Imagine being able to fly directly to the hospital or a shopping mall in a straight path, or turning a long 90-minute drive into a quick 20-minute flight. That's the kind of future we've always dreamed of. As we talked about in a past video, we're way past the point of wondering if this is even real. By now, it's just a waste of time to doubt it. So today, we're not focusing on that. Instead, let's start with the big question, what kind of unbelievable performance can we really expect from a Tesla flying car? Can it meet or even go beyond all the wild expectations we've built up around it? Coming up with ideas is easy, it's doing them that's hard. As the saying goes, it's 1% inspiration and 99% hard work. Right now, I just sleep, work, sleep, work, and repeat that every day of the week. Tesla and Elon Musk haven't just broken records with their flying car, they've changed what we thought was possible. Its speed is almost unbelievable, yet it's completely real. Remember back in February last year when Elon posted a strange message on X, hinting at something that could fly and had the spirit of the original Tesla Roadster? Most people laughed it off, thinking it was just another one of his wild ideas. But if there's anything we've learned from Elon, it's this, never take his tweets lightly. And now, just like he hinted, the flying car is real and is challenging the very rules of physics. If we use the same details as the Tesla Roadster, its speed is so intense it almost feels fake. With the rocket thruster package, the Tesla flying car can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds, not 3, not 2.1, but 1.1 seconds. That's so fast, you wouldn't even have time to say, wow. Elon has promised that the ride will be safe, like a soft push before you're sent flying into another dimension. But if you get motion sickness easily or have heart problems, you might prefer being a passenger instead of the pilot. Even without the rocket boosters, the regular version of the flying car still does 0 to 60 in 2.1 seconds, something that only one other vehicle in the world has ever done. And just when people were still amazed by that insane speed, Tesla made another huge announcement. The flying car can travel up to 620 miles on a single charge. That means this thing isn't just fast, it can go the distance. What about its top speed? Tesla engineers say it can reach 150 miles per hour. That means you could fly across multiple cities faster than most people can find a parking spot at the mall. Let's break that down. If you flew a Tesla flying car from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, then took a side trip to the Grand Canyon, you could finish the whole journey in just 4-5 to five hours, no charging brakes needed. Normally, a trip like that would take an entire day by car, maybe more if you stopped to rest. With this kind of speed and range, you're basically gaining back an entire day of your life, time you could use to relax, work, or just enjoy yourself. That's the real magic of the Tesla flying car. If you're asking, who really needs a flying car like this? You might be missing the big picture. 
Remember when people thought smartphones were just overpriced toys? The Tesla flying car could be that same kind of game changer. It's not just about making life easier. It's about completely changing how we move around. Tesla has taken things to the next level again, and this time the real hero is the energy system behind it, probably the most advanced battery setup ever in a flying vehicle. If you've always seen batteries as something that powers devices and needs charging when empty, it's time to think again. Tesla didn't just throw a huge battery into the car and call it a day. We're not talking about a big, heavy battery under the floor anymore. This flying car has six separate battery packs. And no, that's not too much, it's actually very smart. Think of it like a team of elite workers. If one battery has a problem, no worries, the other five will keep things going, and you'll still land safely. It's like having six strong friends at a picnic. If one can't help, the others still keep things fun. That's real safety, not just on paper. Beyond today's usual batteries like LFP and 4680 cells, Tesla is now trying out solid-state batteries. These next-generation batteries are expected to hold twice the energy compared to today's lithium-ion ones. What does that mean? You can fly farther, stay in the air longer, stay cooler, and avoid catching fire like in some cheap action movie. But wait, there's more. Tesla's flying car uses an 800-volt electrical setup, along with silicon carbide parts to save energy and reduce heat. It might sound like rocket science, but the result is clear, less energy waste, less heat, and much better performance. To really understand how strong this tech is, let's compare it to the Xpeng X2 from China, a two-seat flying car that takes off and lands vertically. It can reach 1,000 meters in height, fly up to 81 miles per hour, and stay in the air for 35 minutes on one charge. Not bad, but compared to the Tesla flying car, it's like comparing the first iPhone to a spy gadget from a Hollywood movie. The difference isn't just big, it's massive. Now here's a cool throwback idea, what if the batteries were swappable? Just like changing a music cassette or putting in a new movie tape. Battery empty. Swap it. Charge the old one later. Repeat. Sounds old school, but it's actually genius. Imagine flying at night, stop at a battery swap station, change it in under two minutes, and keep flying. No waiting, no delays. A whole new flying system could start with just a click. And if you're asking, has Tesla actually thought of that? Just remember, Elon loves to turn today's crazy idea into tomorrow's reality. But making this real won't be easy, not even for Elon. It'll take time, money, and a whole lot of planning. If we had to guess, this won't be a reality for at least 10 years. So what do you think? Should Tesla flying cars have swappable batteries? Press 1 if yes, or 2 if you're not sure. We'd love to hear from you, so leave your thoughts in the comments. Not long ago, Tesla hinted at something new. If you haven't heard about it yet, listen closely. It could be everywhere soon. And it might also be able to fly itself, yep, fully autonomous. Autonomous driving is a big deal. The future is clearly moving in that direction. I always ask myself, what will the world look like in 5, 10, or even 20 years? Sounds relaxing, right? But this time, it's not just about electric cars. We're talking about flying ones. A Tesla that flies itself. No steering wheel. No pilot needed. Just enter your destination, and up you go. But here's the thing, how will it deal with air traffic? We're not talking about toy drones here. These are real vehicles flying in crowded skies, possibly hundreds at once. Some believe Tesla will build a brand new traffic system for the sky, maybe an air-only version of today's roads. Others say Tesla might use current systems like drone air traffic networks or helicopter flight protocols. But knowing Elon, he may skip all those and create something totally new. He likes to rewrite the rules rather than follow them. And what about accidents? What stops two flying Teslas from crashing into each other midair? 
Actually, a lot of things. These flying cars will have smart flight systems designed to talk to each other in real time. Think of how Tesla cars on the road can already see nearby vehicles. Now imagine that in the sky, a swarm of flying cars moving smoothly, avoiding each other without any help from humans. They'll also need yearly safety checks, just like cars do, but with aviation level standards. And yes, weather is a huge concern. Strong winds, heavy rain, and fog aren't just hard to fly in, they're hard for computers to handle, too. These vehicles will need to understand the environment instantly and make fast decisions. But if Tesla already has the cyber cab driving itself in busy city traffic, then upgrading that to the skies with radar, 360 degrees cameras, LiDAR, and their powerful dojo processor doesn't seem impossible anymore. What gets people excited isn't just the technology, it's how Tesla makes science fiction feel normal. Flying to work, grabbing coffee midair, or skipping traffic by flying over it sounds crazy, until you realize it's already starting to happen. If Tesla's Optimus robot is almost walking like a person, then a flying Tesla car that behaves like Iron Man doesn't feel far away. How is Tesla working on rules and city planning for this? Well, reports say Tesla is already talking to aviation authorities to build special sky routes just for flying cars, basically sky highways. They're creating a whole new space for personal air travel. And they're not alone. In Europe, the single European sky project plans to make one big air network by 2035. Tesla could use this to move even faster. One big question is, do you need a pilot's license? Relax, it probably won't be as hard as commercial pilot training. Tesla seems to be going in the same direction as other flying vehicles like Sweden's Jetson 1, a flying bike made of carbon fiber and aluminum, weighing around 120 kilograms. Of course, safety features matter a lot. In a car, an airbag might save your life. In a flying car, there's no road to pull over on. So how will Tesla keep you safe? Maybe with emergency parachutes, backup engines, or both. Some flying EVs already have parachutes that open automatically if something goes wrong, and Tesla could easily add even better options. Flying in cities brings more problems, high winds, air turbulence, and the need to stay super steady. Hovering uses a lot of energy and requires perfect control. And every city has different rules, altitude limits, noise restrictions, and flight paths. Staying stable in a city like New York or Tokyo is a job only top-level AI can handle. Exciting, but where would you park it? You can't just leave a flying car worth thousands in an open lot. Vandalism, theft, or curious kids could cause major damage. Tesla may need to build special garages, maybe even rooftop ones, where the car can land, lock up, and recharge safely. And of course, cost is a huge barrier. Flying cars have always been too expensive. But if anyone can change that, it's Elon Musk. Tesla's big goal is to do for flying cars what the Model 3 did for EVs, make them normal. The starting price of $6,789 isn't just a rumor. With Tesla's scale and control over its factories, it might really be possible. But don't expect every feature at that price. Like with Tesla's EVs, the base model will probably have add-ons, more range, better software, stronger sensors, and other upgrades. It might even work like a streaming service, fly better with a subscription. Sounds crazy. So did electric cars once. Now they're everywhere. Over 40% of Americans say they'd try a flying car, even with some doubts. Tesla is pushing limits again, not just imagining new ways to travel, but changing how we think about gravity itself. Can Tesla's flying car really stay safe while flying over busy cities? Or is this dream arriving too early for today's tech? Thanks for watching. If you want more cool updates on Tesla EVs or the Tesla bot, don't forget to like and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to Car Champions and turn on the bell icon so you never miss a video. We appreciate your support, see you next time.